Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 6. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Alicia Rodriguez. Several new developments tonight. Three more teens accused of bullying Phoebe Prince had their day in court. And the district attorney dropped statutory rape charges against a sixth defendant late this afternoon. 22 News reporter Jackie Bruno was there and joins us live from the Franklin Hampshire Juvenile Court to explain what happened. Well, all three of these girls got plea deals. They admitted to lesser crimes so they could get probation and community service. It's been nearly a year and a half since Phoebe Prince committed suicide after being bullied at South Hadley High School. Now, her aggressors had to own up to their actions. First, Sharon Channon Velasquez had her hearing. She admitted to harassing Phoebe and wept as Phoebe's mother addressed the court. Sharon Velasquez went into Latin class to scream at Phoebe. This, soon after Sharon Velasquez had verbally attacked Phoebe as she tried to have lunch. She terrified my daughter with her anger and level of aggression. The judge gave Velasquez probation until her 18th birthday, which is coming up on July 8th of this year. She also has to do 50 hours of community service with at-risk kids. Next, Flannery Mullins, Velasquez's friend, took her seat in court. She was also given probation for bad-mouthing Phoebe in gym class. Word quickly spread around the school that Mullins was angry at Prince and that Mullins planned on fighting her. According to Phoebe's mom, that made Phoebe afraid to go to school, even though she loved learning. Mullins also received 100 hours of community service. Finally, Ashley Lange had her hearing. She sobbed as her actions were read aloud to the court. Lange seemed to be taunting Phoebe, and as the library period was ending, Lange walked by Phoebe's table and referred to her with a derogatory slur. When it was time for Phoebe's mom to speak, she spoke kindly, saying she recently met with Lange. I am very satisfied that the accountability and genuine remorse we have been asking for since the 14th of January, 2010, has been offered to me by Ashley Lange. She said she was the only one out of the six teens who were charged to formally apologize to her. She said Phoebe would have accepted the apology as well. She just wished it came sooner. And of course, this was a very difficult day for the Prince family.